Oh, this is Tomahawk. And remember, guys, you've got to risk it for a biscuit. This is Tomahawk, and welcome to a very special video on Build a PC with Tomahawk. <laughs> I'm looking already because it's not going to go well. Okay, so basically what happens, uh, happened is uh, I'm building a PC. Uh, I've been waiting for a scary PC for months and months and months and months and months. And today I found that all the bits have come. So I decided to take it upon myself to build it myself. Okay, so it's probably not going to go well. And hopefully I will be editing and you'll be watching this video. Hopefully I'll be editing on a beautiful game PC and this will look on very well and everything else. So I'm going to attempt to build it, film it, and let you know a little bit about it. So, first of all, we have the actual case itself. Uh, this is a NZXT 340, uh, S340 mid tower chassis. Um, it's kind of, kind of cool, it's nice black. It's got like a see-through bit as well. Next off, I have got my motherboard. Um, it's a nice motherboard. <laughs> I'm not going to get all technical on you because I'm not really too sure as, as I've said before. This is my power supply unit. It's got the power. Uh -huh. This is my um, processor. Intel. I know, I know where Intel is. I've seen adverts. Okay, we've got a Kingston uh, drive, which is nice. We've also got our freezer, which is our fan on here. Which is very cool, no pun intended. Uh, we've got our. Um, <laughs> see, this is going great already. Everyone's probably laughing at me, going, "What are you on about?" This is these are the um, team group elite. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Um, dual cam, dual channel kit. If you guys probably know that is at home, then good for you. And we have got my um, GeForce GX uh, thingy. And I'll be actually honest, I ain't got a clue what this is. So by this, it's gonna go really well. Uh, I am going to be um, attempting to film myself building this. I am not just doing this blind, I have watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube, God bless YouTube, and we'll see how we're gonna get on with this, so, wish me luck. I'm also building it in my bathroom, because uh, everyone's been warning at me and shouting at me, saying don't build it on carpet, don't build it on carpet, no static, no static, so, I'm in my bathroom, I might take my hat off, because that might do some static, and, but I think I'm all right. So, let's do this. Whee! <laughs> So what we're going to do to start is, we're going to take off the back of the screws so we can get actually inside it and also there'll be a screws on the other side of the panel which we'll be able to slide off and then from there on it'll make it a lot easier for us to access and have a go on how to get actually inside the case itself. Okay, as you can see now, we have now got the panels off both sides, what I have to do is undo the initial screws and then the panel just both slid off from both sides. Uh, now we're going to have a go at uh, actually <laughs> attempting to build it. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to start off with the power supply and we're going to take it from there. So let's see how we get on with that. Okay, so now what we've got is we've got a Vega 500 watt power supply unit and what we're going to do is we're going to take it out of the box and we're going to attempt to install it. Now what I've noticed straight away has been, you know, obviously I do this all the time but Look at all that cable. Did I mention I'm not an electrician? We'll see how we get on. So that is a power unit supply installed. Uh, it was a bit fiddly, it did take off these screws and it did take a bit of working out how to fit it in because um, this, um, the tower is not one that I've seen on a video on before. So it took a bit of fiddling but got that in. So, We've got the power supply in, that's all sorted. It's not connected up yet, uh, but it's in. The next job, we're gonna take off these PCDI covers. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm on about. Uh, we're gonna take off these top two, uh, so we can fit the graphics card in later. Uh, so the next job is gonna be the motherboard. 
We've got the motherboard out now and it's kind of got a little bit serious. All the videos I've seen online have pretty much said, if you touch metal, that's it, it's game over, you've done it. Make sure you're grounding yourself. I keep touching any metal bit in the bathroom I can to avoid static buildup and everything else like that. So this is the motherboard uh, <laughs> we've got down here. Um, this little black bit area over here, this is where the uh, processor is gonna go. So that's gonna be really careful as well. I'm probably not gonna film myself putting it in because it's gonna put more pressure on myself and this is you know, what I'm gonna be doing my channel off, so I don't wanna muck it up too much. So we've got this, that is the uh, where the process unit's gonna go. So that's gonna be just there. I'd lift it up, but I don't really wanna touch it. So the next part is, um, or should I say where the next bit's gonna go. This little bit over here, this is where the graphics card will actually slot into. There's, <laughs> to be honest, there's a lot of it technical. I mean, this bit over here, all this back bit, that's what will be at the back of the PC. Uh, is obviously uh, like the ports uh, for your mouse and keyboard and uh, all your USBs and stuff like that. So that's going to be the back of the PC just there. Um, and then all these pins and stuff that down here are just going to be where everything kind of connects you without getting too technical. If you're wanting a technical how to build PC video, then I'd suggest search on YouTube. This is just kind of like a general attempt to watch me break uh, slash build a PC. So we're going to have a go with getting on and fitting in the first component, which will be the processor unit. So. Basically, I've just put the <laughs> processor in and it's literally the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. Yeah, to literally just place it in, uh, undo this metal attachment, pretty much just pop it in and then hope I put it in around. <laughs> so the next thing is putting the fan on, which will go on top of the uh, processor unit and there'll be some adhesive gel on the bottom which will set and uh, that'll be that part done. Okay, so now as you can tell, I'm still trying to do this Carol Vorderman thing over here, uh, that the fan on top of the process unit has been installed, uh, basically uh, popped four little clips and you turn one of these things until it clipped and uh, it's, not going, it's not going anywhere now. Uh, so the next job is to is to pop these two guys in. Okay, so now comes the most dangerous part for this. We've got to put the motherboard inside the PC and see how well this goes. I'm going to try and get it in and film it in because it might take a while. It might take. Yeah. So stay tuned to the next part. Little bit of a small victory. The motherboard is screwed in. Success. Great success. Right. Let's continue this epic mission. I think the camera's going to run out of battery, but uh, we'll see how we get on. So, it's many hours later, and I'm still doing this. And Apparently, I put the wrong. It's probably like the worst filming I've ever done. But that's a new fan, because I was given it and I put the one that came with the Intel processor wrong. And that was wrong, so I just spent a couple hours. <laughs> Kids, ask your mum and dad if it's nice to pay a public fan to get it built for you because it's not fun. It's, a, it's fun if you like taking things apart, but if you don't, it's not. So, nearly there. <laughs> so everyone, you're probably wondering how the PC is going. Well, uh, I started building this at half past two uh, GMT. It's now 10 o'clock GMT. I'm still building a PC. But I'll show you what I've done. PC. I'm wiring it at the moment. I've managed to get the fan in. I don't know how well able to see this, but it's a fan, motherboard, graphics card, and everything else. I'm just currently wearing it up. So you'll probably see the end product later on. Yeah, I'm going to try and finish this before the end of the day. Wish me luck.
only about six more hours work. Never build your own PC unless you're capable. I'm not capable. Hello everyone and welcome back to day two of Build Your Own PC with Tom Hawk. Now, probably a lot of you by now will have finished your PC build and be playing on yours, but this be me, mm -mm, didn't happen that way. So, after spending about three hours of trying to get Windows 8 installed on the PC, finally managed to do it, and now it's come to set up all your account and pretty much my keyboard doesn't work. Neither keyboard works, one that I used before, and I've borrowed one of Squid's old ones, and that doesn't work either. So, it's 24 hours now since I started, and I am still haven't finished. But I'm not going to quit. I'm going to go and try and um, get another one. Hopefully this video will be up tonight, which is a Thursday. But if not, it might be up on a Friday. Basically what I've got to do after I've done this whole like set up your account stuff is got to install the drivers, which is apparently a massive pain to do. And um, then I've got to put all, I've got to put all the... Uh, wires and stuff, got to put all the casing back on and at least it's on and uh, yeah, that's it all running so yeah I need to put the sides back on, install the drivers and then I might be finished possibly so if this video is out really late tonight you know why because it's taken me all, another full day to build a PC two days to build a gaming PC when could have just spent a lot more money and got it built for me and set up but I didn't. But it's okay. Because we're going to get this done. It's going to be the best video ever. And best PC ever. Okay. So I'll check back with you. Hopefully after I've got the keyboard situation fixed. And also uh, the panels on. And uh, can show you playing it for the first time. I hope. Day 2. I'll build your own PC with Tomahawk. 24 hours later. Progress has been made. And it's taking care of a few things. The PC is on, working. I've just been setting up all my stuff, and now we've just got to install the drivers, which apparently is the best thing to do. And by best thing, I mean worst. And by worst, I mean it's going to be a fun afternoon for me. But after that, we're done. And then I just need to put the case back on and hide all these wires and put the case on the other side and <sighs> so yeah fun 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 okay so now i have a beautiful orange screen and now i just need to put all of these things for the drivers onto a usb and then upload them onto the pc and then hopefully that'll uh it, it so tune back in for then so guys it is now four o'clock GMT and I'm finally <laughs> extracting the files which are downloaded onto a USB drive and are now installing uh, onto the PC itself uh, it's probably been quite boring towards the end of this video I've got to admit um, it's been a very very long process I honestly thought it'd be done um, a lot quicker than this but it's not how it's played out it's just i'll show you what it's doing now just to you know see that i'm not what i'm on about and it current boxes it's just extracting the files which i've downloaded um i'm kind of like you know it's four o'clock and videos normally go up seven um i'm kind of debating whether or not to show me putting the sides back on because you're not really you know I don't think anyone's really bothered about that. I mean, this is essentially the PC working now, which is something within itself. Like, you know, I built this and, you know, it works, it's on. The only bit that you're not gonna see is me tidying the cables up and putting um, the sides on, which I don't think you're too bothered about. Um, yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll say that's pretty much it there. The PC's built. I'm just extracting the files and if I can put in a video I'll put a picture of it with its sides on looking all fresh and complete and stuff but if not 
then this has been the most longest how to build a PC tutorial ever. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think you found it funny. I found it funny building it. You know, I've got it there, I've got it done, and yeah, let's get back. We're gonna be doing some gaming PCs again. Uh, gaming PCs? <laughs> Brilliant frazzles from all this you see. Um, gaming videos uh, on the PC, but we're still gonna stick to build Xbox because Xbox is so much easier in comparison to all this. So, thank you for watching, and remember, even when it takes you two days to build a gaming PC, you still gotta risk it for a biscuit.